Ode Otne, Agetfe, Ote, Aikle, and Wei, Upscribe Say. Now, you may be wondering what on earth I just said, and perhaps even what language I was saying it in. Of course, what I just said was do not forget to like and subscribe, because you definitely should do that. And I said it in something that is called Pig Latin. Pig Latin is a thing I've always been aware of. I must have heard it a few times in The Simpsons as a kid, and it's stuck since. Arch. On the ash hole tray. But maybe you didn't watch as much Simpsons as I did, so Pig Latin may not be as known to you. So let's look into Pig Latin, what exactly it is, how it came about, why it has that name, how it works, and of course relate it back to our names. Pig Latin isn't so much a wholly unique language into itself, but more variation on normal English, also known as an argo, with an argo being a specific type of slang spoken by a specific group of people, the specific group of people in this case being kids. It seems that Pig Latin is most popular amongst children as a code of speaking around grown-ups and other kids. Of course grown-ups can use it too and words of Pig Latin have entered English as a whole, most popularly Ixnay and Amscray which mean Nix and Scram. Pig Latin's history isn't too clear to us. While it's believed to have been at its peak of popularity in the 20s and 30s in America, it's thought to be way older than that, outdating even Shakespeare as he referenced the form of Pig Latin in Love's Labour Lost. At this time it was known as Dog Latin as opposed to Pig Latin. It's believed to maybe have started with monks using it as a word game for fun. Why it's called Pig Latin, however, remains a bit more of a mystery. An article from 1866 refers to it as Hog Latin, and eventually it turned into Pig Latin. My theory behind this is that it sounds kind of like Latin, and the pig part comes from due to the fact that it's something of an ugly, beastly form of Latin, and pigs are often seen as somewhat ugly beasts, though they're actually pretty adorable. Anyway, that's enough about the history of Pig Latin. How does Pig Latin actually work, and how can you transfer your name into Pig Latin? Well, there's a few varieties of Pig Latin, but the most popular is the A kind of Pig Latin, where a gets added to the end of words and names, but trust me it's way more than just adding A to the end. Other letters and names get switched around too and it all depends on the location of vowels and consonants in the name and what they start with. With the A Pig Latin there's three different ways to generate names depending on if the name starts with vowels or consonants. So let's start with the best name in the world, that of course being Patrick. My name starts with a consonant followed by a vowel. If a name starts with just one consonant, the consonant goes to the back of the name, with A being added to the very end, becoming Atric Pay. However, say a name starts with not just one but two consonants, aka a consonant cluster, like the name Shannon. Well in this case both consonants added to the end, with A added to the end too, allowing it to become Anonche. But what if a name starts with a vowel, like Eleanor? Does that starting vowel get added to the end of the word like usual? Well, not in this case. With a name that starts with a vowel, it stays put, and we just add a slash way slash yay. So Eleanor would become Eleanor a slash Eleanor way slash Eleanor yay. Even names that start with multiple vowels, like Eugene, get this treatment. Both vowels stay at the start of the name, with just the a suffix being added to them. So Eugene becomes Eugene. So these are the basics of Pig Latin, and while I have obviously focused on just names, it can be used with all words too. So you will know when I say help hey a port say amen a explain where on where actually on pair. I'm saying help support name explain on Patreon, which you definitely should do. But now that we have this knowledge, I want to know how we can experiment with it. Of course, Pig Latin is a product of the English language, but I want to know if we can apply Pig Latin to non-English languages. Well, yes and no. Of course, we can do it in quite a literal sense. For this example, I'm going to use the Spanish name of Manuel. With our knowledge of Pig Latin, we know we can just put the M at the end, add A, and have Anuel me. And while yes, this is technically Pig Latin, Spanish actually has its own kind of Argo slash language game, Hurley Gonza. In this language game, you add a P sound after every vowel, then follow up with that vowel sound again. Let's take the Spanish name of Paloma. This has three vowels in it, the A, O, and A. So after each vowel, we add a P and follow that P with the vowel that came before it. With this in mind, Paloma becomes Papa Lopa Mapa. Many languages have language games like this, but with Spanish and English, there's a key similarity. Both languages are written in the Roman script. So what about a language that doesn't use the script we have in English and Spanish? Of of course, if there's any non-Roman script language I'm going to use, it has to be Japanese, as we've covered the Japanese language before. Of course, we could just Latinize a Japanese word and use Pig Latin on it, say the Japanese name of Hideo. With normal Pig Latin, this becomes Ideohe. Japanese, like Spanish, actually has its own language game, Babigo, where the B-based Japanese sounds, Ba, Bi, Bu, B and Bo are put between letters, so a Japanese name like Hideo could become something like Hibadebebe or Bu. It sounds strange, but apparently even native Japanese speakers can find it confusing at times. So the last odd thing I wanted to talk about in relation to Pig Latin is Welsh. It's clear that vowels and consonants are important in Pig Latin, and while Welsh may use the Roman script with English, it doesn't share vowels with English. In fact, in Welsh, W and Y are considered vowels too. So does this change how Pig Latin can be used in Welsh? Take the name Wendy. In English, 
English, it starts with the consonant of W, so in Pig Latin it would become Endiway. But considering in Welsh W is a vowel, would it become in Welsh Pig Latin Wendiway? Or do W and Y being vowels only apply to native Welsh words and not loaned words? If so, then what about the Welsh name of Win? It technically starts with a vowel in Welsh, so does it become Winne or Yinne? I couldn't really find much online, so if you're a Welsh speaker, leave a comment, it'd be really handy. In fact, comment even if you aren't a Welsh speaker. What is your name like in Pig Latin? Or does your language have a language game I haven't mentioned? And how is your name spelled in that language game? Language is a seriously fun thing, and these kinds of language games are a constant reminder of exactly that. Name Explain depends on awesome people like yourself donating small amounts on a monthly basis, so a huge thank you to all my patrons who do just that. You guys make Name Explain possible, and for that I am truly grateful. Rewards start being unlocked at just the $1 tier, and $2 a month gets your name here with all these awesome people. Thank you.